What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? So I know it's hot, but I really hope that all of you are swell. See, we're in a bind because we're way behind. So it's time for Mail and Mail. 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 Convention season is in full swing. And between that and work and just running errands, um... I, I don't even know if we actually still live here. I mean, I, I guess, like, our name's on the deed, but we're barely here enough to actually live here. I sleep in my bed. That's it. <laughs> so, we have a bunch of mail from a bunch of friends, and it's time to get to that. Normally, we try to focus on one person per video, and I'm very sorry to do this, but we're just going to group you all together. So, come on in close for a big group hug. Ugh, squeeze, don't fight it, don't make it weird. Okay, first of all. Pretty sure some of them did the uh, stepbrothers hug. <laughs> That's what we've been looking for. So first of all, Freaking amazing guy, Bandana Gamer. Uh, obviously, anyone we mention, if there are links to channels, they will be in the description below. Bandana Gamer has been setting us up like crazy. He found a PS5 controller at GameStop, of all places, 30 bucks. I mean, I'm just throwing the price out there because, yeah, at 30 bucks, I would have been all over a, a PS5 controller. Oh, yeah. So now we have each a PS5 controller. So we really need to figure out a great co-op game. Lego. I was thinking the same thing. The newest Lego uh, saga of Skywalker, whatever it's called. I think that'd be a great one. Although people keep telling us we need to play. It takes two, baby. Me and you. Me. Me and me? Me and me. <laughs> well, this isn't even the only thing that Bandana hooked us up with lately. Check out the big limited run boxes for the so Shantae cool. games. Oh, I love these. I love how they're like the Game Boy color boxes just. Now see, this is what normal people's hands look like with a Game Boy box <laughs> in your hands. <laughs> well. See, like, like, look at it in my hand. See, see, big Game Boy box, normal size your hand. <laughs> well, these are very, very cool pieces to have because Let's face it, I'm probably never going to own the actual original Shantae game, not with as expensive as that thing is. And we love the Shantae games. I mean, they're a lot of fun. They're super vibrant. They're cute. Great soundtrack and everything. I like watching a girl walk around smacking people with their hair. Yeah. Whiplash. Speaking of Shantae, this is a nice little segue into it. Recently, we had a fun little fan art piece done. Future Tom's going to help me out right here because, boom, Check it out. Lady Lacey is ready to do a closer upper of these Shantae games. Oh my. <laughs> so there will be a link in the description below to the artist Jam Croissant, who did that wonderful I piece. I like croissants and jam. I do like croissants as well. <laughs> All right, well, next, let's jump over to Mike Rouse, our fellow retro refresh man with the plan, retro gamer boy. He hooked me up with something super cool, a pocket station. Although that looks ridiculous. this thing <laughs> at my age looks about like the pills I'm supposed to be taking, but don't <laughs> tell this one. So the pocket station was released exclusively in Japan, of course, and it was extremely popular to the point that a US and European release was even promoted but it was never meant to be. Despite this, there is still some functionality in this with certain games like Final Fantasy VIII and Saga Frontier 2, even the localized version. So if you have an American or PAL version of those games, you could still use Japanese Pocket Station. More of a memory card peripheral, this miniature comes with an LCD screen, built-in sound, and flash memory abilities. It's got a clock, and it even has infrared communication to transfer game saves and even some multiplayer gaming. How adorable is this? You love tiny miniature stuff love tiny anyway. Things. I love how it's got, you know, the little buttons, the screen, it pops up. It's she broken. breaks it. It's broken. <laughs> and you can see where it plugs right into the PlayStation. But yeah, for the longest time, I wanted one of these. I was always fascinated by it. 
And Do you remember when our cell phones were like this? Yeah, and then we realized we could see porn and boobs, so they got bigger again with smartphones. <laughs> and it's kind of the same thing. Handhelds were kind of big, and then they went tiny, and they're like, oh, we can't see that And anymore. now we have switch Now they're size. bigger again. <laughs> That's because us gamers got old and we can't see anymore. <laughs> well, we also have a Pixel Perfect Crew token for use exclusively at Live at the Arcade. Now, this is a wonderful weekly, mostly live show where Retro Gamer Boy, Mike Rouse himself, and Sega Head play a bunch of old school games and talk a load of bollocks. This token is amazing too. I love all the effort that Mike put into this from the information on the back where it's got little pixel Mike himself and it's in a nice protective case to keep it safe because you don't want that color running off or anything. So does this give us a one extra life one up Ooh, thing? Ooh, it Three may, nine. but I feel like I would have to always have it in my pocket, just in case. Probably. Speaking of mail, look what we finally got. Patches! For some unboxing videos. We finally got some patches! Yeah, I love that Premium Edition Games does this. So if you buy one of their games, do an unboxing, share it with them. They will actually send out a patch to you. And this is very reminiscent of the old oh, school yeah. days of Atari when you could... Uh, you gotta put them on a jean jacket. Yeah, yeah. But submit those <laughs> high scores and everything and, and you could get like a game patch. I'm always hoping to find like just a box of those at a flea market. That would be so cool. That would be amazing. Yeah, good luck. We also got uh, just some regular mail and an envelope from one of our favorite local cosplayers. This is Jazby of Nerdy Blazing Cosplay. Not only did she give us some amazing hollow foil He's stickers. He's gonna be awesome magnet. Yeah, they will. And by the way, I love how well her T'Challa Star-Lord cosplay looks. She even gave us some autographed photos of said cosplay and one near and dear to you. Yay. Although we recently saw her in a new cosplay she debuted as Storm, Punk Rock Storm, and it was pretty that was kicking off. So, so cool. we might need a, an intro with, with some uh, Punk Rock Storm. Hey, speaking of, Jazz has been so sweet and given us so many great intros in very, very many different costumes. What has been one of your favorites? Hey, nerdlings. Oh, goodness. Well, the Jasmine's a really good one. I really do like that one. Um, her Esmeralda's pretty good, too. I really I, like the Esmeralda. I do like that one, yeah. yeah. That yeah. one was really good. Tell me more. 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 Boobs. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> it's boobs. <laughs> Check it out, guys. It is flash it on the Game Boy. So Ukami the Wolf 1 posted on Twitter. They had one copy left if anyone was interested. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was interested. When aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, uh, Ukami the Wolf 1 is a totally professional cartoon smut artist and an 8-bit coder extraordinaire. This is flashing. It's a comical game about running around without clothes. So you run through a level, flash enough people to unlock the next stage without getting caught by the authorities. And the fact of the matter is, they went all out. Your cartridge comes in a protective case. How cool is that? You get the- Baywatch, babe? <laughs> pretty much. So you get like a classic <laughs> cigarette card. If anyone's ever played a, a Red Dead Redemption game, I think they've collected a few cigarette <laughs> cards of their own. Then you have the adorable little tiny manual, and it's really awesome. It's, I mean, it's well done. It's glossy pages, color, and some even screenshots from the game. But I actually like the uh, chick in her bathrobe on the back. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of it all, a poster, a poster of the cover art. So, yeah, we went all out. This is the kind of stuff we love since we are obviously physical collectors. We Do like you our perf? physical games. <laughs> Apparently, we do. We do. You disgust me. Go on. <laughs> now, 
It's time to take a little bit of a break. We are going to pass things over to future Tom in connection with past Tom and Lady Lacey. There's a past Lady Lacey? Uh, we got a box from Sean, 8-Bit Glitch, who sent us all kinds of goodies. Uh, spoiler, there was already one thing that you absolutely loved. Yeah, right there. He knows after. her too well. But uh, yeah, so this was our exchange with him. We were super excited. We wanted to open the box. We sent him a private polo message, and he responded with uh, where some of these gifts came from. So let's take it away, future Tom. It's Spider-Man! Oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's like Christmas! <laughs> How am I supposed to open it? It's got Spider-Man and Spider-Gwen all over it. Oh, sorry, Spider-Man. <gasps> Oh no! I'm opening mine very gently so that I don't rip the paper. Oh my gosh! I want the paper. Oh my gosh! Oh! I think I recognize those legs. The Shantae legs? No. no. Oh, dude! Nice. Rosalina, my favorite. That Thank is amazing. You. I love her facial features. So many times I get the face all icky. Okay, and now she's I... got really good proportions too. Now I can't remember. Was this? Was this the same one that you have, like, hanging up? And second of all, this isn't yours, right? The um, Rosalina picture is mine. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. I'm trying to change up my art in the room kind of thing, and I wanted space for other stuff. I want to spread the love and stuff. I knew you liked that a lot, and I wanted you to have that. Oh, Sean. I got a lobster. He sent me a Maine lobster. Yay! This one oh I don't have to feel bad about gosh. eating. It's so cute. Nice. This is totally something I would buy if we went up to visit oh, you. I would totally, doubt. totally come home with definitely a plushie <laughs> like this. So that is awesome. Yeah, so story behind those. Uh, obviously the Maine Lobster was when we were up at Maine. And I saw it and I said, I guarantee you Lacey does not have a stuffed lobster. A stuffy lobster. She, there's no way. No way she's got one. Because that's like a main thing. So I said, I got to get her one. This one says Tom, but this one does say Tom and Lacey's. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, hello. That is a great view of her. Hello. Oh. Funny thing is, is he's like, oh, this one's for Tom. And it's like, uh, hello? Me too. <laughs> Tom and I Dude. share the love of boobs. So Cassandra Peterson, Elvira, she recently had a birthday of Damn, yeah. this, this woman seriously ages like a fine wine. Uh, the Elvira picture. That I found at a, the flea market I go to. But I got that and I got uh, an Elvis for myself because I'm a huge Elvis fan. Huge. Get it from my dad. It's something me and my dad kind of share. Check these out. Ooh, Those very nice. Are really cool. So, Badass Zelda obviously doesn't need Link yeah, anymore. Got and she took care of things herself. She's like, I got this. And. Um, I don't oh, crap. recognize this. It's, one. Well, it's Steven Universe, but it's one Cal of Cal Garnet's. Universe. Like when she split, right? The story behind those is when I went to Retro Game Con in 2019 in Syracuse. So, I was part of the package where you got like the bag and all the crap and the t shirt and blah, blah, blah. And that stuff was in it. It was uh, everybody got those three art prints. Those two I sent you, and I only kept because it was the one that meant the most to me. Was the the Metal Gear one? It was like a zombie solid snake or something. So I kept that one, but I had no real purpose or use for the other two. And I knew uh, how you have that Zelda shrine and all that. And I thought that would be a unique piece to have. These are cool. These are really and yeah, cool. Yeah, we, we definitely got to get this framed now. I love my lobster. And get this put up. Ooh. Oh, I lobster, but never flounder. So that's that's the story behind it all. Um, so a couple pieces are from a con. Some are from my personal collection for you. I'd like to know that there's a piece of my collection in the Do You Nerd collection. Well, thank you, Sean. That's cool. Yeah, thank you're, you, Sean. This is awesome. You're quite the sweetheart. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, nose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what, Sean? You main the world to us. 
That was awesome. You made the world to us. Great. Great ending. I did the unthinkable. I bought something just for me. <laughs> you know, normally I, I like to buy know, Lady Lacey stuff <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy about that Because he never buys himself anything So I like when he actually does slurge on himself a bit Just but once, not too much. once in a while yeah, uh, not there, too much. there it is <laughs> So I went for the uh, 30th anniversary Legend of Zelda Game Music Collection So what this is Is sadly another Japanese exclusive but this collection celebrates 30 years of Zelda with music from across the series. So it's not like the soundtrack to every single game. It is a sampler, but it's great to have those bits of music from each game to see how far the soundtrack has come, how much it's changed over the years. Plus, this has these nice sleeves with this fantastic game box artwork on them. And it all comes in a very lovely yeah, I actually really like the outside case because it's, you know, flat black, but then you've got this really shiny embossed like map overlay almost on it, which was really, really cool. This was one of those things that it popped up. There was a sale on Amazon. I think it was like half the price and I was like, uh, okay, click. Mm -hmm. ah! Something very sweet. We actually got an email from somebody who follows us on YouTube and Instagram. I'll just name drop their first name, just, you know, in case they don't want their name thrown out there. But Tina asked if we wanted some He-Man, some Master of the Universe cards, retro cards. He-Man, He-Man. And both of us growing up with Masters of the Universe. And she wrote, she wrote. Yeah, we were all for it. It's like, uh, okay, something I love is that on the backs of these cards, there's a bit of a story. Like sometimes you'll get cards with like some stats or a little mm -hmm. bit of info, but there's, you know, a bit of a story here. So let's take a quick look through these and see if uh, any favorites pop you know what out. I, bet I know what your favorite part about these cards are. What's that? No gum. That's true. <laughs> Tina was so sweet. Hashtag eat the gum. Didn't send any gum. <laughs> I mean, first of all, you got some classics like Prince Adam here by the power of Grey Skull. We all know what happens next. And I picked this one out for you because it's the Sorceress. I love the Sorceress. She was my favorite. Also, I know that this was an effect that they use in the cartoons, but the translucent Skeletor head, it actually transferred over really well yeah. to the card. And the corny puns. So, you want to dance, huh? As he fights robot <laughs> dragons. And I'm sorry, but... I had to find an out of context card. There's Tila. I need your help to test the lasso. Uh oh. Oh, Orko, please remember the safety word. Do we really have to know about it? Well, it's kind of funny that you chose that card because the card I chose is fantastic. The lasso weapon uh, oh. works. <laughs> wow. It's like we're on the same pervy it's like, wavelength. What's he doing with that? But I also have a card that I feel like leads up to this one where. You've got He-Man in the way, and he goes, Tila, man at arms! And Orko goes, out of the way, Prince Adam! Because he's obviously <laughs> running in there to see what Tila's got going on. Couldn't we be on the other half? And then just this dorky wink that we've got <laughs> going on here. <laughs> oh, Prince Adam. He's, uh, he's a special one, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, and the last thing is, this is a box that's been sitting here way too long, and I really, really apologize. Uh, so, fellow YouTuber, Mark, link in the descriptions below, he was nice enough to reach out to us whenever we were having some issues with the Sega Master System 2 that Sega had had initially sent to us. So, he sent one to us, we were having problems trying to get it to work, and he ultimately sent another one that did work very well. Thank you so much, Sega Head. Wink. I don't know why I winked. That's kind of weird now. You're doing great. But Mark offered to try to fix the other one, and I think he just wanted a chance to tinker with it. Little did he know how much of a headache that was going to be. But more on that in a second. So let's open this box, finally. <laughs> There's a diagram. <laughs> there it is. Oh, dear so Lord. Here's a note that's been waiting to get out for a long time. 
Tom and Lacey, after three years, here is your Sega Master System Model 2 in all of its 8-bit glory. I apologize for taking so long with it. Trust me, no worries. There were a lot of things out of control there. I'm glad it's finally working and I can get it out of my house. LOL. I bet. He probably booted it out of the house. <laughs> it is slightly complicated to hook up, so here's a diagram. And as you said, <laughs> here is a diagram. So it takes a little bit, but once it's on, it's good to go. And there you go. So let me know what you think. I'm, I plan on with this cable, I'm just going to cut a little notch out of here, cut a little slit here. Actually, no, I don't have to. could probably fit this through here. And then I'll run that up and this, it'll power this. And then he has a list of the uh, things that came with it as far as getting it working and everything. So Mark the Game Shark, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Look at the little Game it's Gear little sleeve. Tiny. So Chris, Hi. video game dust sleeve strikes again. This is great. I love that he can even do like handheld oh, game no, sleeves. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, nice. I think you knew that we had a loose Game Gear Ooh, game. X-Men. So da, da, da. now we know how to play that game. We do. Cool. Cool. All right. Here it is. And it has a tail. Now I knew all about that. And it's got a smattering of extra cords and cables. So because, <laughs> because like Mark was such a sweetheart to work on this, even though it vexed him. So let me give you a quick rundown of exactly what he was dealing with. So first things first, the voltage regulator seemed to have been replaced at some point and the power supply needed to be modded due to polarity. Testing was a chore because of the difference of Hertz due to it being a PAL console on an American TV. Now, an option arose to take the RGB signals and output composite, but the encoder was coming from Russia, which added months of waiting to the project just to receive that. When it did show up, the circuit board wasn't assembled. Now, that sort of fell through though, so an alternate route came about in using two HDMI converters. Once all was together, the converters wouldn't fit in the system, which, I mean, it's smaller to begin with, so yeah, everything's already more compact in there. And even in the end, upon shipping, it took ages to arrive. Yeah, we sometimes have the worst luck shipping. Like, when he finally got it all together and was happy to get it out of his house and he mailed it to us, he was tracking it, and he would ask me, why isn't this there yet? I sent stuff to another country and they already got it. Why isn't yours there yet? But anyway, this is going to be a lot of fun to mess around with. Thank you again so much <laughs> for messing with it. I did encourage him to do a video on, uh, on the process of it, but he worked on it for a very long time. And I don't know if he really wants to revisit any of that, but if he does, we'll definitely link to that. Reverse the polarities like Doctor Who? Reverse it. Reverse what? Reverse the polarity. No. A after all of this, all the trouble that we put him through, I, no, I'm not going to do that to him. I'll go get my sonic screwdriver and fix <laughs> it like that. Who looks at a screwdriver and thinks, ooh, this could be a little more sonic? What? All right. So I think we are caught up on mail stuff for now. Seriously, everyone who had a hand in this Thank you all so much for being so kind to, to ever send anything to us, especially to just think of us in any way, to want to send something to us. You guys are way too sweet to both of us. You spoil us, you probably spoil her a little more, which is fine. I'm totally fine with that. So please leave some comments down in the description below. Like, comment, uh, notification bell, all that stuff. This is the part which she would usually tell you, you know, retro refresh, get the t-shirts and everything. But I just want to end it on this note. One last time, thank you so much, Bandana Gamer. Thank you so much, 8BitGlitch79. Hey, you said his name right. Thank you so much, Mark the Game Shark. Thank you so much, Jazz Nerdy Blazing Cosplay. Thank you so much, the maker of Flash and Ukami, the wolf one, for pervy goodness. Thank you so much, Retro Gamer Boy. And of course, Tina, just for being a viewer. 
Incininus, some awesome He-Man cards. And I hope I remembered everyone. If I didn't, lightning. I'm good! <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. You want to pet my lobster? Should we repeat the joke? Sean, you made the world to us. Ow, he pinched me! That's what you get. I know it's hot, but I really hope that all of you are doing swale. But we're in a... Dang it. Paul! You dumb cat. What have you been doing? You let me run away to the door that's closed! <laughs> this Giant. is what a Game Boy Game Boy... Ready? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I even know where you're going with this. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. All right. I didn't know you could see them when I hide them in your meat. That sounds weird. <laughs> and it was extremely... It's kind of funny that you chose that card. Because one of the cards I card. One <laughs> <laughs> of the cards We haven't even I had our drinks yet. I know. Okay, ready? Why'd you wink? I don't know. That's why I said that turned out weird. Okay. <laughs> Good lord. You know me. I like turtles. Turtles. I'm a turtle. It's stuff that like is gonna go into storage or I'm gonna sell. Because it's like, well, not this. This is from the dishwasher when I hooked it up. I don't, you, that, that just, that's nothing. So I don't need any front door service. I prefer back door service. Now, normally we don't just do some private polo. We try to do an actual video. This is why I have to deal with one of them.